Obviously an extraordinary tragedy. Tuesday's deadly derailment. It train derailed as it was approaching a curve. As long as human beings are involved in the system, something could always go wrong. Carl Berkowitz, a transportation engineer, is talking about rail accidents. Washington State, Philadelphia, the Bronx, and Hoboken. All train disasters with fatal consequences. This takes it out of the equation. This is Positive Train Control, or PTC, an advanced computer system designed to override the engineer and automatically stop a train before certain accidents occur. This simulation details how it works. So where am I heading? You're going towards Newark right now. Okay. Now the speed limit over that bridge was 60 miles an hour, but it put you in the penalty because you were going well faster. So even though I applied the brakes... It also applied the brakes. Because you barged into the speed restriction way too fast, it automatically just stopped the train. The issue is installing this life-saving technology by the deadline, December of this year. LIRR, Metro North, and Amtrak are making progress. But according to quarterly filings with the Federal Railroad Administration, New Jersey Transit is lagging furthest behind. But as of June, there were only 60 of your 1,100 employees that were actually trained on the system. None of the 326 miles of track actually had this system functioning. Steven Santoro is New Jersey Transit's executive director. Why has this been so challenging? Our system is complex. Uh, we have, uh, like I said, 11 different service lines, the number of grade crossings we have, the number of bridges that we have, the different types of equipment that we have. All have different characteristics that need to be programmed. Would you say that this particular project is a priority for NJ Transit? It's the number one safety priority. All rail lines agree PTC is a priority and expect to be in compliance with critical testing by December with a complete system rollout by 2020. But to lawmakers, any further delay is simply not acceptable. They should be much further ahead in terms of the deployment of positive train control uh, than they are now. This is not a partisan issue, it is nonpartisan, and we all have to make sure that uh, uh, the train line is as safe as possible. Director Santoro says it remains to be seen if all the work left to do will affect commuters. But with the possibility of lives on the line, he says PTC is a must. If you don't meet the deadline, is this on you? I'm the executive director. I've committed the agency and uh, to all of its staff to uh, complete this project, prioritize the project, and do everything that we can to make this uh, uh, project a success and, and meet the deadline. Well, as it turns out, since our interview, Santoro will step down from his position as executive director in April. Governor Phil Murphy has openly criticized NJ Transit and will likely nominate Kevin Corbett as a replacement. Now, he does not have transit background, but has worked on projects with the agency. Of course, we will be watching and keep you updated.